10 investigates has learned prosecutors are considering dismissing as many as half of the murder counts against Dr. William Husel. The former Mount Carmel critical care doctor is accused of ordering potentially fatal doses of fentanyl be given to patients under his care. Now at a hearing tomorrow, charges could be dropped. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haverly first told you about this on Friday and he joins us now with more. Bennett? Yolanda, a lot of this still in flux. Our sources tell us prosecutors are considering dropping as many as 11 to 13 of the murder counts against Dr. William Husel. The prosecutor's office has declined to comment on this before tomorrow's hearing. But one source close to this tells us prosecutors have even wavered about which cases to include and which to dismiss. Shortly after taking office, prosecutor Gary Tyak suggested that some of these counts could be dismissed. If you recall, Husel was indicted under former prosecutor Ron O'Brien. One family member of a patient tells me she was contacted uh, more than a week ago and again today by the prosecutor's office telling her that her loved one's case is expected to be among those dropped. That person was not given an explanation why. Husel is accused of ordering potentially fatal doses of the powerful painkiller fentanyl be given to the patients under his care. All of them died. The hospital fired him six months before he was indicted in June of 2019. The central question in this case, of course, will be did the combination of fentanyl, other drugs, the dosages, and the rate at which they were given, did all those things accelerate the deaths of these patients? Husel's attorney, Jose Baez, has said Husel was providing comfort care to patients in their final moments of life. Now, again, as many as half of these murder counts were told, excuse me, were told are expected to be dismissed against Dr. Husel. All of this happening about three weeks before the start of his trial. The defense even mentioned this in an email between the prosecutors and judge saying, quote, that which counts remain greatly impacts our trial preparation and presentation. And again, this just happening right before the start of trial. Meanwhile, Husel's attorneys have also filed additional motions this week, reemphasizing a point they've made, which is that state law provides immunity from prosecution for doctors who are providing comfort care so long as they're acting in good faith. We'll certainly keep you updated on developments at tomorrow's hearing. Yolanda. All right. Thank you very much, Bennett. 10 Investigates has been your source of this story ever since Bennett and the team broke the news three years ago. You can follow him on social media and look for updates on our website.